Hey, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is ITW Extra, powered by JSA TV, the official broadcast of ITW 2023. Yes, guys, we are here live simulcasting, we should say. So coming to you on multiple platforms. So thank you for tuning in, guys. And we are here at the National Harbor near D.C. I'm Jamie Scott Okataya of JSA. And joining me on this expo floor, I am so excited to welcome Mr. Scott Bergs, CEO of DF&I. Welcome, Scott. Why, thank you very much. It's good to see you this morning. Oh, it's great to have you. And second time on JSA TV, so we're, right. we're glad to have you back. Now, before we get into some big breaking news that we have, let's just tell our viewers who might not already know a little bit about DF&I. Sure. So Dark Fiber and Infrastructure, uh, short name DF&I, um, we're a core infrastructure developer. And then we provide that infrastructure um, to on a wholesale basis. So if you want to pick your carrier for your telecom needs and your bandwidth capacity requirements, you can choose whoever you like, but we'll put the infrastructure in place from data center to data center, and then in between data center clusters and communities so that all of that core infrastructure is there at a scalable level that, that helps folks get to where they need to be. Yeah, and I love that keyword, guys, communities. All right, so let's get to it. Exciting, exciting news. I don't want to step on your toes here, but <laughs> You are adding, what is it, two, two not just new. one, two yeah. digital realty data center campuses on net. Go ahead and tell us a little yeah. bit more. Digital realty has just been a great partner. And as they continue to expand their capacity and footprint and additional locations, especially up in the Northern Virginia area, mm -hmm. it's just a great way for us to be able to provide additional facilities so that they can reach those destination points. And and the DRT folks are just fantastic to work with. They've been a great partner, and we're just excited to be able to expand with them. And we do that kind of expansion, both extending markets so that customers of digital realty can reach outside the Northern Virginia immediate Loudoun County area to get to the much broader region to other digital realty locations, or if they have facilities that are even outside of that footprint. So... And you're doing that with the DFNI Express Connect Dock Fiber Conduit, is that right? That's right, yeah. yeah. So our Express Connect just tries to make it the most uh, route mile efficient, so most cost effective and lowest latency uh, connectivity that we possibly can provide. And again, all on a wholesale basis, so you can scale it as wildly as you'd like. And so critical in that data center alley region that is really the heart and soul of the internet, if you think about it. It really is, it's been amazing. You know, I've been fortunate to have been in this industry for 30 years, but to see what's happened in, in just that immediate corridor area, the number of data centers, the scale of the data centers, and it's just enabling such amazing applications that are changing people's lives every day. It's true. It's very true. And we should talk about your unique benefits, that DF&I Express Connect Network, guys, unique benefit or for hyperscalers, for carriers, of course, network operators, the folks here at ITW, uh, data center operators, and really just anyone who has wholesale partnerships, like MSP servicing specific clients or large enterprise. Yeah. So can you elaborate more? Sure. So, you know, I started my career actually buying the backhaul facilities for wireless carriers principally. Yeah. And Boy, every time I estimated capacity, we estimated wrong and it was always not enough. <laughs> right. It just seems like people consume more and more than we could ever imagine. And so we are building our networks at DF&I to be to absolute scale. So we've got multiple, multiple conduits. We've got very high density cables and we're providing them across the key locations with the most route mile efficient architecture we can. So lowest latency, lowest cost, fewest fail points. And with that scale, that's going to grow with you as your business really takes off. And, and that's really been the core and crux of what we've been doing since day one and excited to keep on partnering with folks like Digital Realty and others. Well, we, we need you, clearly. <laughs> Better quality of service, reliability, scalability. You're saying all those keywords that are near and dear to our hearts, for sure. And you also provide the most direct dark fiber route from Ashburn to Maryland, right here in Maryland. Tell us about the pathway there from Ashburn yeah, to Maryland. Yeah, it was a tricky endeavor. One that a lot of folks, I think I might have been initially scared off of because uh, there were a lot of routes that went either to the south or to the north along more conventional right-of-ways. We acquired private right-of-way on either side of the Potomac so that we could take, again, that most route mile efficient possibly way we could 
and had to go under a very, very difficult build to get there. But now we've cut out about 30% of the total linear footage to get between Baltimore back into the Ashburn uh, data center cluster. That lower latency, fewer things to break, um, along with the capacity that when we put in, we built that route, uh, just provide some real opportunities, I think, for folks that have got data centers or locations in both in both spots. Yeah, 30% is incredible. That's not just speed, guys, but efficiency. Yeah. Less, less places to break, like you said, <laughs> which I love it. So df and I really so well positioned, it seems, to service customers outside of the Northern Virginia area as well. Any plans for that, or am I just hinting? No, you're, you're, <laughs> you're right on track. So it's been a great market. I mean, you can't go wrong with, like you said, this is the heart of the internet really for the world. And so we're gonna continue to grow organically here, but we're really, really lucky to be working with some great customers and great partners along the way. And so we can replicate this model in other parts of the world. I've been with DF and I just over a year now. Before that, I had been doing something similar in these other markets markets and seeing the markets that are already doing great and have great wholesale fiber uh, and connectivity providers and those that are a little underdeveloped. So uh, we're really excited about a few more. So look forward to a few few announcements coming up soon. Well, we're excited about your leadership over at DFNI. Again, Scott Berg, guys, a thought leader in our industry, 30 years, bringing, uh, bringing your expertise to the table. Where can our viewers go to learn more? So uh, darkfiberandinfra.com uh, or reach out to us on LinkedIn. Oh, thank you, Scott, so much. Thank you for your time and your insight. Thank you, viewers, for tuning in to ITW Extra, powered by JSA TV. Thanks. Happy networking.